Good afternoon. We welcome you to this special lecture featuring Dr. Tadashi Watanabe of NEC. The Stanford Computer Forum and the University Video Communications are jointly sponsoring this special lecture. I'm Carolyn Tainai, Director of the Stanford Computer Forum, the Industrial Affiliates Program for the Department of Computer Science and the Computer Systems Laboratory. University Video Communications is a spin-off from the Stanford Instructional Television Network. Judith Lemon and Karen Matthews had a vision and became entrepreneurs five years ago when they started UVC. The mission of UVC is to communicate progressive corporate research development to university faculty and students in the classroom as well as to the engineers and computer scientists in industry. Their medium is video. Dr. Watanabe's videotape will be available through the UVC distribution network, which reaches over 1,000 university, government, and corporate sites around the world. The mission of the Computer Forum is to facilitate communication between the researchers in industry and the computer science community at Stanford. Membership is open to all corporations with an interest in computer science. On the back table, there are brochures for UVC and the Computer Forum. It is my pleasure to introduce Gordon Bell, a longtime friend to the Department of Computer Science and UVC. Mr. Bell is now a computer industry consultant at large. During his distinguished career, he has made significant contributions to the world of technology. In 1991, President George Bush awarded to him the National Medal of Technology for his continuing intellectual and industrial achievements in the field of computer design and for his leading role in establishing cost-effective, powerful computers which serve as a significant tool for engineering, science, and industry. Gordon Bell. Thank you, Carolyn. Uh, as Carolyn said, it's UVC's goal to bring you the distinguished lectures and to chronicle the important events and people who have pioneered computing. And in that spirit, it's really my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, the NEC SX3 through Dr. Watanabe. Uh, the SX3 uh, is the world's fastest vector supercomputer. Uh, as a single processor, it performs about 70 times uh, a spark station. Uh, and if you put it to the peak test, it's uh, the, with all the processors, it's in the order of over 1,000 times fa faster than, uh, than your friendly workstation. Uh, Dr. Watanabe is a graduate of the University of Tokyo, has been at NEC since 1968, and has been involved in all the important uh, architectural advances in mainframes and supercomputers. It's now my pleasure, Dr. Watanabe. Thank you, Gordon Bell. Uh, the, uh, I'm very pleased to have the, uh, this opportunity to make uh, a lecture uh, titled the, uh, uh, to the uh, uh, ultra speed computing system. Uh, at this Stanford University. First of all, the, uh, in this lecture, uh, I'd like to uh, explain about the, uh, uh, how these uh, the, uh, high-speed computing systems uh, will be uh, realized and what the design detail uh, the implemented in this high-speed computing systems. Uh, this figure shows the uh, trend of the uh, uh, supercomputer uh, performance. In uh, 1964, the CDC uh, introduced the, uh, uh, its uh, CDC 6600 uh, with the uh, performance of the uh, 1 megaflops. And uh, now uh, we are in uh, 1992. Uh, uh, recently, uh, Cray introduced the, uh, its C90. And the, uh, uh, also, the, uh, we uh, NEC uh, uh, introduced the uh, uh, SX3 uh, supercomputer. So, uh, uh, in this uh, the uh, 25 uh, years, uh, we achieved the uh, more than uh, 10,000 times speed increase. So uh, it means that the uh, speed is uh, increased 
uh, about uh, 100 times in every uh, 10 years. Okay. And the, uh, toward the uh, 21st century, uh, the, uh, one of the major target is uh, to achieve the uh, uh, more than uh, one teraflops machine. Uh, this table shows the uh, major uh, characteristics of the uh, former SX2 and the current SX3 systems. And the, uh, uh, we delivered the uh, SX2 system in 1985. Uh, <coughs> uh, this system, uh, the SX2, uh, was the uh, po peak performance of the 1.3 gigaflops. And uh, currently, that the we are uh, introduced in the SX3 systems. Uh, this system was first uh, delivered the, uh, in 1990. At the, uh, uh, recently, that we announced the uh, new enhanced model of the SX3, uh, which has uh, a peak speed of 6.4 gigaflops, uh, clocked in uh, 2.5 nanoseconds. The former uh, SX2 model was uh, 6 nanoseconds. So uh, it, uh, the machine cycle time is reduced uh, more than uh, twice. And, the, uh, and also the SX3 uh, features the uh, uh, multiprocessor systems with uh, up to uh, four processor systems. So uh, uh, in the maximum configuration, uh, the SX3 has the uh, uh, currently uh, 25 uh, gigaflops. And memory capacity is uh, now uh, uh, eight gigabytes. And the extended memory, which uh, is the semiconductor memory system, has a capacity of the uh, 64 uh, gigabytes. So uh, here shows the uh, system appearance of the SX2 and the SX4. Uh, uh, this one is the uh, top end model of the SX3 series, uh, which has the uh, uh, four processors. Uh, then uh, I'd like to uh, explain about the how uh, these uh, performance uh, they achieved. This one shows uh, roughly uh, uh, express the uh, speed of the uh, computing uh, systems. Uh, the speed is uh, roughly expressed by the uh, processing uh, quantity uh, divided by the uh, processing time. So in this equation, that processing quantity uh, means the uh, uh, various parameters of the jobs or the operations or the instructions or the data. Uh, those uh, quantities are divided by the uh, some uh, processing time to process uh, this uh, quantity, uh, like uh, execution time of instruction, or execution time of jobs or programs, or uh, some uh, machine uh, clock, machine cycle time. Okay. To increase the, uh, this speed, uh <coughs> uh, the upper part processing quantity uh, uh, should be the increased. And the, uh, uh, also the uh, lower part, processing time, uh, should be uh, decreased. So uh, uh, the processing uh, time uh, the, uh, mainly uh, depends on the uh, machine uh, cycle time, clock. And uh, to shorten the uh, machine cycle time, it quite depends on the basic hardware technologies employed, like uh, chip technology or the packaging technology. And the uh, upper part, uh, processing quantity, it uh, quite depends on the uh, uh, parallelisms. Uh, just like uh, the, uh, say, uh, to increase the jobs, that uh, we uh, increase the uh, number of the processors. Or to increase the operations, uh, we provide the uh, multiple uh, operation units. And to increase the data uh, to be transferred, uh, we uh, increase the uh, data width. So uh, it's uh, the uh, uh, all uh, uh, leads to the uh, increase of the parallelisms and what uh, I call the uh, it's a systems approach. So uh, I'd like to uh, explain about the uh, shortening of the uh, uh, machine cycle time, or lower part of the uh, uh, processing time. Uh, here shows the uh, trend of the uh, gate delay in system. Uh, in this uh, uh, figure, the gate delay directly uh, corresponds to the uh, uh, machine uh, cycle time. So uh, in 1975, that the uh, assuming that it's uh, the unit of the one of the uh, clock speed, and uh, this one is a decrease to the uh, here in 1992 that the uh, more than uh, one fifth is a decreased in the clock cycle, and the uh, blue part shows uh, all these are the distribution of the clock, 
the uh, contribution of the clock cycles. Uh, the blue part is the wiring delay between chips, and the uh, red part shows the uh, circuit delay in chip. And the green part is the uh, wiring delay in chip. So uh, in 1975, the major part was the wiring delay between chips and the uh, circuit delay in chips. Now uh, we are here. So uh, still the uh, major part uh, is the wiring delay between chips and circuit delay chip in chip. And the uh, recent uh, increase of the uh, device density in chip, that the, uh, also the wiring delay in chip, the percentage of this wiring delay in chip is increased. So uh, to decrease the uh, machine cycle time, uh, the, all these three uh, parameters uh, mainly uh, contribute to the uh, decreasing the uh, clock cycle time. So uh, packaging technology or circuit technology and the wiring in chip is a these three uh, factors are very uh, important to reduce the uh, machine cycle time. Here shows the uh, mm, uh, SX3's uh, packaging hierarchy. So uh, there are uh, three uh, levels. Uh, level one is the uh, LSI level. So uh, uh, the LSI, what we call the tab LSI, tape ultimate bonding LSI, is uh, the encapsulated into the uh, what we call the uh, free tab carrier, FTC. So this is a uh, level one uh, technology. The next, the, uh, those uh, the other sides are uh, mounted on the uh, uh, multi-layer uh, substrate, a uh, ceramic uh, package. And the uh, uh, other sides are uh, mounted on the uh, uh, multi-layer substrate, uh, forming the multi-package. And the, uh, to cool the, those package, uh, now the, uh, we are employing the uh, uh, liquid cooling uh, systems or water cooling systems. So the packages are covered with the uh, liquid cooling module. This is uh, level two. Uh, finally, the uh, level is the uh, level three. Uh, the mm, uh, such a multi package is uh, mounted uh, again, uh, again on the uh, printed uh, circuit board. So uh, it conforms the uh, some hierarchy, hierarchical level of the packaging systems. Uh, here shows the uh, level one technologies, uh, that is uh, logic LSI. Uh, in this table, the uh, mm, mm, uh, two technologies are compared at SX2 and SX3. The speed uh, is uh, increased from 250 picoseconds to the uh, 70 uh, picoseconds uh, in this uh, uh, five years. And the uh, gate density or capacity has increased uh, 20 times from 1,000 to the 20,000 uh, gates. And the power is also the increased. And uh, to uh, connect the, uh, uh, these, uh, the uh, LSIs, we need more uh, terminals or pins uh, uh, on a, a chip. So uh, pin also the increase the uh, uh, more than uh, two, two, uh, two times. And the uh, basic technology employed is the uh, bipolar uh, uh, CML circuit, uh, current mode logic. It's uh, the very similar to the uh, ECL, emitter coupled logic. And the, uh, also the here shows the memory LSI employed in the vector uh, register and cache memories. So uh, memory speed is increased uh, twice. And the capacity is also increased 40 times in addition to the uh, uh, control circuit, seven uh, certain gates. Uh, one chip uh, has the, uh, such a uh, the, uh, uh, control uh, circuit to access the uh, memory uh, uh, faster. And the uh, power uh, is the also the increased the, uh, about uh, 30, 30 times. And terminals also decreased. Uh, here shows the uh, logic error side of the SX2 and the SX3. And the, uh, to shorten the uh, wirings, uh, the, uh, we need the uh, substrate size uh, also the, mm, uh, the decreased, or uh, gate density uh, must be increased. To increase the uh, uh, clock speed twice, uh, the wiring length must be uh, halved. So the, uh, uh, the size uh, is uh, halved, then uh, area density or gate density uh, uh, must be increased uh, four times. Yeah. 
So uh, it's uh, quite uh, the uh, uh, important to increase the uh, gate density by the uh, uh, packaging the technologies. And uh, here shows the uh, multi package employed in the uh, SEX2 and the SEX3. Uh, this uh, table shows the uh, uh, size increased, but the uh, uh, gate density uh, also increased the, uh, about uh, 10 times uh, because the SX3 has the uh, chip, uh, package has the uh, 100 uh, chips on one uh, ceramic substrate. And the uh, one chip has the gate density is more increased. So then uh, uh, packaging density increased the, uh, about uh, 10 times. Uh, here shows the uh, packaging technology comparison. The uh, say uh, gate density increased 10 times. Yeah. Also, the uh, uh, cooling capacity also increased. Uh, so, uh, the uh, as the uh, gate density increased, uh, also the power density uh, increased. So, uh, next uh, key point is the uh, cooling systems. So, SX3 they employ the uh, water uh, cooling uh, systems. And uh, uh, the heat generated by the uh, LSI is uh, conducted uh, to the uh, uh, through the uh, uh, FTC uh, thermal compound and heat transfer block and absorbed in uh, uh, water. And the uh, to F cool the efficiently that uh, these are the heat paths or heat resistance must be uh, decreased. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, we have to uh, develop the uh, efficient uh, heat conductive uh, systems. This uh, uh, figure shows the uh, uh, generated heat uh, is that the uh, uh, cooled uh, by the uh, this uh, impinged uh, the water. So water is circulated through this uh, what we call the uh, uh, water uh, channels okay. and water is uh, impinged to this uh, uh, surface of the heat transfer block and uh, heat is absorbed into the water. Uh, here shows the uh, some efficiency of the uh, cooling uh, systems. Uh, the, uh, uh, now uh, we are employing the, uh, what we call the jet impingement uh, water cooling systems. But the, uh, this efficiency is uh, very uh, comparable with the uh, uh, boiling water uh, cooling systems. Uh, and also, the, uh, it's uh, uh, very efficient uh, comparing with the uh, uh, floor uh, carbon uh, liquid uh, immersion systems. Uh, here shows the uh, multi package of the SX2 and the SX3. And uh, also, here shows the liquid cooling modules. Uh, the uh, water is circulated through these liquid cooling modules. As a result of this uh, packaging system, uh, here shows the uh, uh, size of the uh, uh, physical size of the vector uh, pipe set. Uh, the in SX2, uh, the vector uh, pipe set uh, consists of the uh, twelve uh, multi package. Uh, but the uh, in SX3, uh, the pipe set has uh, only one uh, uh, multi package. And the, uh, about uh, 100 error size are used in SX3, uh, comparing with the, uh, uh, more than uh, uh, 400 error size chip in SX2. So the, we could uh, reduce the uh, uh, physical size uh, greatly from SX2 to the SX3. Uh, here shows the inside cabinet. Uh, this one uh, shows the uh, inside cabinet of the uh, processors. So the, uh, <coughs> by employing the, uh, these kind of the technologies, uh, we uh, could uh, reduce the uh, uh, machine cycle time of the uh, 6 nanoseconds of the uh, SX2 to uh, uh, 2.5 nanoseconds of the SX3 in uh, five uh, years. So uh, next, the, uh, I'd like to uh, proceed to the uh, uh, increase of the uh, parallelisms or systems approach. Uh, here shows the uh, <coughs> uh, 
systems configuration, maximum syst system configuration of the uh, uh, SX3 uh, systems. Uh, centering around the uh, memory, that, you know, we have up to the uh, four processors, uh, what we call the arithmetic uh, processors. And the, uh, now the uh, main memory has a capacity of the 80 gigabytes, and the extended memory has uh, uh, up to the 64 gigabytes. Extended memory is just a large capacity uh, high-speed semiconductor uh, memory. Uh, uh, here shows the uh, configuration of the uh, arithmetic processors. Uh, Left-hand side shows the uh, memories, and the uh, uh, right-hand side uh, is the arithmetic processor. Uh, the functionally, the arithmetic processor is divided into the uh, two parts. Uh, one is the uh, uh, vector unit, yeah, and the other part is the uh, uh, scalar unit. Uh, scalar unit uh, mainly consists of the uh, cache 64 kbytes uh, cache memory and 128 uh, scalar registers and the one set of the uh, pipelines. And the uh, vector unit uh, consists of the uh, vector uh, registers and the uh, four sets of the uh, vector uh, pipelines and the uh, uh, vector mask register and the mask operation unit. So the uh, next year, uh, I'll uh, show you the uh, how uh, uh, this kind of the uh, uh, configuration is employed and why this kind of the uh, uh, configuration is employed. Uh, here shows the uh, basic uh, configuration of the uh, vector unit. Uh, here is the uh, uh, one set of the vector pipeline and the uh, this pipeline uh, consists of the two uh, uh, units, uh, other pipelines and multiple uh, pipelines. And the, um, by uh, illustrating the, this uh, 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 very simple uh, vector operations, uh, the, I'd like to uh, show you the, uh, uh, this pipeline uh, functions. Uh, first of all, the, uh, uh, this uh, the uh, S by uh, Y, uh, vector Y, I plus Z uh, is uh, called the uh, SACS-P. Uh, this uh, simple uh, vector operation uh, quite uh, uh, frequently appears in the linear equation uh, solvers. And uh, first of all, the uh, vector Y uh, is loaded to the uh, vector registers. And the next, the, uh, also the vector Z is uh, loaded from memory to the vector register, B2. And the, uh, 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 B0, that is the uh, vector Yi, is uh, multiplied by the uh, scalar S and stored into the vector register B, B1. And the uh, B1 and the B2 are uh, added, and the results are stored into the B3 vector register. And finally, the, uh, those uh, results are stored back into the memory location uh, of vector uh, Xi. So uh, usually the uh, uh, vector register, uh, the length of the vector register is, uh, some, uh, has a limit size. Uh, size is uh, limited. So uh, in SX3, uh, the length of the vector register is uh, 256 words. So uh, if the uh, vector uh, loop is the length of the uh, 1024, uh, the, uh, this uh, operation is segmented in two, uh, 256. So then uh, this loop is uh, repeated uh, four times. Okay. So uh, next uh, here shows the flow of these uh, vector operations. Uh, first of all, the Yi on the memory uh, is loaded to the uh, V0 and, in and input to the uh, vector multiply uh, pipeline <coughs> and multiplied by the scalar S. And uh, those results are also input to the uh, V1. And in parallel with this operation, that the uh, vector zi is loaded to the vector register v2, and the results are the input to the vector pipeline add. And the, uh, those results are again uh, stored into the vector register v3, and finally, those are the stored back into the memory. So uh, this operation uh, is a uh, uh, pipeline, okay? uh, just like the, the uh, assembly line. And the, also the multiply pipeline and the vector add pipeline is the uh, concatenated, uh, what is called the uh, uh, vector chain operations. And here shows the uh, uh, 
uh, time chart for these operations. Uh, in this uh, time chart, uh, you should know that the, uh, if the, uh, uh, for example, the uh, vector uh, length of the vector is uh, 256 in a single pipeline configuration, uh, around it takes that the uh, 256 uh, clocks from this in this operation, all these operations. Uh, basically, the, uh, it takes 256 uh, clocks. Here shows the uh, four pipe sets of the, the vector unit. Uh, in SX3, the, we employ the four pipe sets of the vector unit. Uh, so uh, there are the four identical sets of the vector uh, pipelines, and each set has the uh, add and multiply. Eh? Uh, in this uh, uh, operation, that the, there are four identical sets of the pipelines, and four vector elements are simultaneously input to the uh, uh, vector multiply units. And also the uh, results are simultaneously, uh, four results are uh, got from the multiply uh, units. And those uh, results are uh, also the input to the uh, vector add uh, units. Okay. So uh, by employing uh, this configuration, uh, basically the, we can speed up the uh, uh, four times at the maximum. So here shows the uh, time chart uh, of the uh, comparing the uh, uh, four pipe set and single pipe set. Uh, left uh, hand side part shows the uh, time chart for the uh, four pipe set, and uh, right hand side shows the uh, uh, single pipe set uh, time chart. So uh, as I mentioned, the in a single pipeline set, uh, it takes uh, basically the 256 uh, clocks. But the, uh, by uh, employing the four pipe sets, we can uh, shorten the those execution to the uh, 64 uh, clocks. So uh, here shows the uh, results of the uh, uh, those uh, the executions. Uh, in this uh, figure, the SX3 model 11 is the uh, one pipe set, and the model uh, 12 is the two pipe set, and the model 14 at the full pipe set. So the uh, horizontal line shows the uh, vector lungs and the vertical line is uh, megaforps. Uh, in this uh, SACS-P operation, uh, in a, a single pipe line set, uh, we achieved the uh, uh, 523 uh, megaforps. And the two pipe set, uh, the about uh, uh, 1,000 megaforps. And model 14, full pipe set, uh, we are achieving uh, 1,900 megaflops. So uh, mm, roughly the, uh, comparing the uh, single pipes and set, uh, the uh, four pipeline set has achieved the, uh, about a four times increase. Again, uh, here shows the, uh, also the uh, configuration of vector unit, but uh, this figure shows the full configuration of the uh, SX3 vector unit. Uh, in addition to, uh, to the uh, uh, one set of the add and multiply, uh, SX3 has the uh, uh, two adds and the uh, two multiplies in each uh, pipeline set. So again, uh, uh, I'd like to show you the uh, how does it work. Okay, uh, here shows also the uh, simple vector operations, scalar by uh, vector plus scalar by uh, vector. Uh, in this operation, that, that there are two uh, multiply operations. Yeah. So here shows the uh, flow of the uh, these operations. Uh, first of all, the wire is loaded to the vector is V zero, and in parallel with this uh, load operation, the ZI uh, is also the loaded from memory to the uh, vector is V three, uh, and those uh, the uh, data are multiplied uh, both in the multiply zero and the multiply one in parallel. And the, uh, those results are simultaneously input to the vector uh, pipeline add. And the results uh, uh, got into the vector is V4. Okay. So uh, if the, uh, we have the one multiply pipe, then uh, uh, this uh, second multiply operations must wait for the uh, completion of this uh, first uh, multiply operations. So it takes uh, much time like this. 
that the, uh, by providing the uh, two multiply units, uh, this, these two operations uh, can be executed in parallel. Yeah. So that we can uh, reduce the uh, execution time like this. And here shows the uh, results of the uh, such uh, the effects of the uh, two uh, multiply units. Uh, in uh, six three uh, model eleven, uh, we achieved the uh, uh, about uh, seven hundred megaflops, and the four five set uh, six three uh, model fourteen, we achieved the twenty seven hundred uh, megaflops. So in this case, again, that the about uh, uh, four times increase. And comparing the with the uh, SACSP, uh, we achieved the, uh, around the 1.4 time increase. It's uh, the effects of the uh, employing the uh, uh, one more uh, multiply units. And next, the, uh, here shows the uh, vector uh, uh, memory access uh, features of this arithmetic processor. Uh, between the uh, memory and the uh, processor, we have the uh, uh, so-called the vector uh, buffers. Uh, uh, there are four vector buffer for load and uh, two vector store buffers. So uh, by providing the, these uh, buffers, the, we can separate the uh, memory access operation and uh, vector operations quite easily. And again, uh, the, uh, I'd like to explain about the, uh, how it works. Uh, uh, taking from the uh, example of the uh, Livermore uh, kernel loop of number one. Uh, by providing the uh, vector buffer, we can uh, quite easily implement the, uh, some uh, parallelisms of the load and store. And in this case, that the, uh, uh, if the uh, load and store are executed in the serial, uh, like this, uh, the segmented the second loop must wait for the uh, uh, first loop of the store operation. Uh, and also the, uh, by providing the buffer, uh, the we can uh, reduce the, this uh, uh, time between the load, uh, two load uh, the functions. Uh, the, uh, this uh, load operation, uh, the memory access is issued uh, in advance. So then uh, after the uh, load is completed, then uh, readily the, uh, this operation uh, can be started from uh, buffer to uh, vector list. So we can uh, reduce uh, this kind of the uh, waiting time uh, uh, by providing the uh, buffers. Uh, here shows the uh, configuration of the vector registers. Uh, in this uh, SX3, we have two kinds of the vector registers. One is called the vector arithmetic register. And the other one is the vector data register. So vector arithmetic re register is uh, uh, dedicated to the uh, vector arithmetic operations. And it has the uh, capacity of the uh, 256 words by eight registers. And the uh, vector data register, uh, it works as uh, the programmable uh, vector cache. And uh, uh, this uh, data register this stores the uh, intermediate results and frequently access the vector data. And uh, this uh, register can configure the three uh, uh, configurations, like uh, 256 words by 64, uh, 128 words by 128, and 64 words by 256 uh, registers. And the, uh, this uh, variable configuration uh, is used uh, quite dependent on the uh, uh, do loop types like uh, long uh, do loops or uh, deep uh, doop loops or so. Yeah. Uh, here shows the, uh, also the uh, configuration of the vector uh, registers. Uh, so uh, vector registers exist uh, between the memory and uh, vector uh, pipelines. And also the here shows the uh, examples of the usage of the vector data registers. Uh, mainly the vector data register uh, stores the intermediate results of the uh, do loops. Uh, in this uh, figure, the uh, circled intermediate uh, results uh, stored uh, on a, a vector data register. 
So uh, if we don't have the uh, sufficient uh, vector registers, uh, those uh, intermediate results must be uh, stored into the memory. And the, uh, next time that the, those uh, uh, intermediate results uh, must be accessed from memory. But by providing the, uh, those uh, the uh, sufficient vector data registers, uh, we, can, uh, we, c we do not need uh, access to the uh, memory. So then uh, we can uh, reduce the memory access uh, frequency. And the uh, next example is a uh, matrix uh, multiply. Uh, there are two operands, uh, the matrix B and uh, matrix uh, C. And the, uh, uh, in this architecture, that the, uh, we have the uh, 128 scalar registers. And the uh, operand B, uh, by uh, the mm, storing the, uh, those uh, uh, operand B into the uh, scalar registers, and the, uh, operand, uh, the other operand vector uh, C uh, is uh, storing onto the uh, vector data registers, we can reduce the uh, uh, memory access uh, frequency uh, greatly. So uh, here shows the uh, main loop in uh, matrix uh, multiply. So in this case, that the uh, only the uh, first uh, instruction and the uh, last instruction uh, access the uh, memory. All other uh, the instructions uh, executed only onto the uh, uh, registers. So uh, here shows the time chart for this uh, matrix multiply. Uh, all the uh, operations uh, the, uh, uh, executed uh, like a pipeline uh, fashion. And also the you should note here, uh, this uh, memory access operation, uh, uh, before this operation that the, this uh, vector uh, load from data to the vector arithmetic register is executed in advance of uh, this operation. So hardware, uh, considering about the uh, memory uh, resource availability, hardware interchange the execution uh, uh, order dynamically. So what it is called the dynamic instruction uh, scheduling. So uh, here shows the uh, results of the matrix multiply. Uh, again, that the, uh, uh, we achieved uh, in SX3 uh, uh, model 11 that the uh, 1500 megaflops and the SX3 uh, model uh, uh, 14, four pipe set, we achieved uh, about uh, uh, 6,000 megaflops. Uh, okay. uh, its peak speed is uh, 6.4 gigaflops. In this case, that the, uh, it's quite uh, close to the uh, peak speed. Uh, and also, the, in the uh, scalar unit, we are also the uh, employing the uh, dynamic instruction scheduling. So, uh, uh, by employing the uh, instruction uh, dynamic uh, scheduling, uh, in this example, the, the upper part uh, uh, is uh, the uh, case of the no uh, dynamic instruction schedule. But the, uh, by uh, employing the uh, uh, dynamic instruction scheduling, the, uh, these operations can start in parallel with this, uh, the, uh, these operations. So we can uh, reduce the, uh, uh, this kind of the operations uh, Operation time uh, uh, greatly. Here also shows the uh, uh, effects of the uh, dynamic instruction uh, uh, scheduling in a scalar unit. And uh, next, year I'd like to show you the uh, recent uh, several uh, uh, very simple uh, results of the benchmarking test. Uh, it's uh, the uh, well known uh, the impact, uh, benchmarking test in case of the uh, 100 by 100. Uh, in this case, that the uh, uh, yellow part is a uh, uh, single processor model of the SX3. Uh, now uh, we are uh, achieving the uh, about 350 uh, megaflops in uh, single uh, processor. And uh, here also shows the uh, impact uh, uh, in case of the uh, 1000 by 1000, what is called uh, uh, toward the peak uh, performance. And uh <coughs> this uh, the uh, Four uh, bar graph shows the uh, speed of the uh, single processor. Uh, in a single processor, uh, now uh, we are achieving the 4.5 gigaflops. And uh, here shows the uh, performance of the two processors 
employ the, uh, in, uh, what we call the micro-tasking. Uh, uh, it achieved the uh, nine uh, gigaflops. And the, uh, it does not show, but the, uh, in case of the uh, four processor mac maximum co-creation, uh, we achieved the uh, 15 uh, gigaflops. And also the uh, least three, uh, what we, they call the massively parallel uh, case, that the, is that there is no limitation of the size. Uh, in uh, four processor systems, uh, we achieve the uh, uh, more than uh, 20 uh, gigaflops. Okay, uh, so uh, then uh, uh, next year, uh, uh, in a multi processor uh, configuration, that the, uh, uh, we are now uh, supporting the uh, 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 micro uh, tasking. So uh, uh, next year, uh, I'd like to show you the. Uh, 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 multiprocessor uh, control to realize the uh, micro uh, tasking. So, uh, uh, in addition to the uh, main memory, we have the uh, uh, what we call the uh, communication uh, registers. Its capacity is uh, 64 bits by the 256 words. And uh, this communication register is uh, divided into the two parts. One is a kernel uh, part, and the other one is user task part. Kernel is uh, mainly used for the operating systems control. So uh, on this uh, the uh, uh, communication register, uh, there are several instructions uh, like uh, load and store and uh, test and set instructions for the semaphore operations. Uh, here shows the uh, processing flow of the uh, micro tasking. Uh, the say assuming the uh, master uh, arithmetic processor is executing the uh, uh, main uh, programs, and the. Uh, uh, when a uh, uh, master processor finds the, uh, such uh, the parallelized uh, do loops, uh, uh, master arithmetic processor issues the uh, reserved CPU. So uh, available CPU uh, is reserved for the uh, micro-tasking. And they wait for the uh, fork operations. And, the, uh, and fork, when the fork is uh, executed, uh, the all the uh, uh, slave uh, R processor and the master processor are going to get the uh, uh, control uh, variables through the uh, communication registers. And the, uh, uh, once the uh, control bar, uh, variable uh, of the I, uh, for example, the uh, uh, control variable of the do loops uh, is got, then uh, arithmetic processor execute uh, based on their such uh, control uh, variables. So uh, here shows the uh, such uh, the operations. So uh, by uh, uh, employing the, this kind of the uh, uh, control uh, in the micro tasking, any processor can do the uh, any uh, control uh, variables. For example, the processor three can do the uh, control variable the uh, uh, i six, uh, or a processor uh, two that can execute the control variables uh, five. And also, the, uh, uh, there's uh, no limitation in the number of the uh, processors. Yeah. And the, uh, uh, also, the, uh, uh, we can uh, balance the uh, processor load by employing this kind of the uh, control feature. That uh, concludes the uh, uh, detailed internal uh, design uh, structure. And uh, so uh, next, the, uh, I'd like to uh, explain about the uh, uh, future uh, perspectives. And uh, here shows the uh, uh, several features of the uh, device technologies. Uh, in this uh, figure, uh, I'm showing the uh, silicon CMOS, uh, silicon bipolar, uh, guy masonite, helmet, uh, hetero bipolar transistor, and uh, Josephson uh, junctions. And the, uh, uh, as uh, the, uh, 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 next two mm, generations uh, uh, te device technologies, uh, these are the uh, some uh, candidates. But the, there are several features in each uh, devices, uh, like uh, the silicon CMOS is uh, the uh, higher uh, density, but the uh, speed is uh, low, and power consumption is low, uh, but speed is uh, low. And the uh, silicon bipolar, it's uh, the uh, high speed, uh, but the uh, power consumption is high. And hetero bipolar is, uh, speed is uh, very fast, but the, uh, also the uh, power is, is uh, mm, more than uh, C uh, CMOS. 
Yeah, and the gallium arsenide, it's uh, also uh, uh, speed is uh, uh, very fast, uh, but the uh, uh, currently the uh, density is not so enough. Uh, okay, uh, so in the next uh, generation uh, computer system, that the uh, these uh, the combination of these device te technology uh, will be uh, used, and here shows the uh, trend of the uh, device speed. Uh, mm, now uh, we uh, uh, in 1990 uh, we are now uh, having the uh, uh, about uh, 100 picosecond um, bipolar chips, and this uh, switching speed uh, or the gate delay is uh, uh, decreasing. Okay, so uh, in uh, uh, mid of the 1990, uh, we'll be able to get the. Uh, around the uh, 30 picosecond uh, switching speed in uh, silicon uh, bipolar. Uh, here shows the uh, uh, supercomputer performance uh, trend, uh, which is the uh, machine uh, cycle time. And now uh, uh, we, we are getting the uh, 2.5 nanosecond machine cycle time, but they still uh, this uh, cycle time is uh, decreasing. So uh, around the 1990, mid of the uh, 90, around the 1 to uh, 1.5 nanosecond machine cycle time uh, will be uh, realized. And uh, next uh, here shows the uh, uh, processor or system's uh, performance, uh, system's speed. Uh, in this figure, the uh, lower uh, line shows the uh, trend of the single processor um, speed. And uh, now uh, uh, we are getting the uh, uh, around the five gigafops machine, and the, mm, this trend still uh, continues. And the upper part shows the uh, system's uh, peak speed. Mm, uh, now uh, we are having the uh, more than the ten gigafops machine, but the uh, still uh, this uh, the trend uh, will continue. And in this figure, that the uh, uh, you should note that the uh, difference uh, between the uh, system's peak performance and the uh, uh, single processor performance uh, is becoming uh, bigger and bigger. So, uh, as a system, that the uh, uh, we uh, has to support the uh, such a high speed. So, to support such a high speed, uh, we need more uh, number of the processors to fill uh, those uh, the gaps. Okay. So <coughs> uh, if the, uh, this trend uh, con still continues, then uh, uh, we'll, be, uh, uh, we'll be able to achieve the around the middle of the 1995, uh, uh, middle of the 1990, that we uh, can uh, we'll be able to achieve the uh, uh, more than uh, 100 gigafops machine at the system's peak speed. And uh, next here shows the uh, towards the 21st century that the uh, uh, how much speed is achieved, what kind of the architecture is employed. Uh, in uh, early 1980, a uh, uh, commercial uh, supercomputer system is a uh, uh, very uh, simple uh, vector architecture. At the, uh, as the uh, architecture is evolving, uh, now uh, uh, we are having the uh, uh, complex vector uh, processors, and the, uh, uh, those are the combined in uh, March uh, processor uh, systems, employing the uh, uh, hierarchical memory storage systems. And the, again, uh, uh, this uh, trend is uh, still continues, and the, uh, around the middle of the uh, 1990, that the, we can uh, have the uh, more than 100 gigafop machine. But the, towards the uh, 21st century, uh, we are uh, thinking that the uh, mm, some basic technological technological. Uh, uh, Technology is uh, approaching to the uh, uh, limit, so uh, to enhance the more to have the more uh, high-speed processing system, 
uh, we need uh, the uh, some kind of the uh, uh, highly or must be uh, power uh, systems to achieve the uh, one teraflop machine. So, uh, in conclusion, that the uh, in this lecture, that I uh, explained about the uh, uh, how or what design is employed uh, in achieving the high-speed computing uh, system. Uh, the again, I'd like to say that high-speed computer system uh, is uh, realized uh, always by uh, shortening uh, clock cycle time by high-speed uh, uh, LSI, high-speed chip, and high-density packaging systems. And also, the, uh, uh, we need to increase the parallelisms, uh, as in the SX3 uh, supercomputer, uh, like uh, multiple uh, parallel vector pipeline, or dynamic instruction scheduling, or a multiprocessor, or uh, some kind of the parallel uh, processing uh, systems. Thank you for listening. That concludes my uh, lecture. My name is Bob Ciotti from NASA Ames Research Center. I had a question. If you, uh, does NEC have any near-term plans for offering a system with more than four processors? Uh, yes, uh, we have. Yeah. Um, also, I had a, a question about the vector data registers and the vector arithmetic registers. Yeah. How critical to performance is it to keep your data resident in those, and and once you once that breaks down and you start to have to to go out the main memory with the four processor four pipe system, how 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 quickly will things break down, or is it a problem at all? Uh, now the uh, say uh, to store the vector uh, to utilize the vector register, it uh, uh, quite depends on the uh, say uh, compiler and also the uh, uh, Fortran statements, the order of the Fortran statements. Uh, and also the uh, uh, number of the variables used in the uh, do loops. Okay. So uh, if the uh, mm, uh, what we call the depth of the do loops is sufficient enough, uh, depth means the uh, uh, number of the uh, statements in uh, do loops. Okay. So if the uh, we have the uh, so many uh, statements in do loop where depth is uh, sufficient uh, deep, then uh, in that loop that the, uh, there are so many uh, intermediate uh, variables. So in that case, that the uh, uh, vector data race works uh, very well, efficiently. But if do loops, the some depth is uh, not so deep enough, uh, the uh, comparing with the uh, Operation and the uh, uh, variables. The, so memory access frequency uh, will be increased. It's also a relative factor. So in that case, that the uh, intermediate re re uh, variables are not so um, used. In that case, that the uh, memory access frequency uh, will be increased. So vector data race does not work so well. Okay. Did I get that there are actually three three pipelines of bandwidth per processor, or or not? How how many how many how many pipelines? Uh, that is, I'm trying to find out how what's the maximum memory bandwidth? Uh -huh. is in a, uh, okay, uh, the uh, in a single processor we have the uh, two rows and one store. And, and those are at the f at the five uh, running at uh, each of those are running at five mi five uh, giga each giga access. It's uh, uh, in a uh, one clock, and each load has the uh, uh, four uh, four watts can can be simultaneously times the four times uh, transport, transport times, times four. Each, for uh, example, each load pass right. has the uh, two uh, uh, four was wheels. Okay. And then, and then in the st in the four processor case, you multiply that times four. Uh, no, uh, that the in uh, four uh, mm, processor configuration, uh, that the, those uh, the pipes are the uh, shared by the two processors. So then, uh, ah. in a uh, four processor case, that it's uh, time by two. 
Then what's the latency then on the uh, on those clocks or on the pipelines? Uh, How many clock ticks from memory to uh, the uh, uh, the counting on the buffer hold the uh, uh, hundred uh, clocks? But uh, we have the uh, buffers in between the processor and the memories, okay? right. and uh, we can issue the uh, uh, memory access operations in advance, right. as I mentioned. Okay? So uh, if the data is available in buffer, that's uh, the readily the, uh, loaded to the uh, vector instance to compensate sure. such a ranges. Right, but uh, okay. I guess I still want to know what was the then what's the buff, what's the latency into the buffer, and then the latency between the buffer into the registers. Uh, the uh, latency is the uh, uh, cycle. Yeah, number you of mean? cycles. Uh -huh. Cy uh, the memory cycle is the uh, uh, 20, 20 cycles in one bank. Okay. Uh, you mentioned improvements in both memory capacity and speed. Can you say something about, uh, did you similarly improve the I.O. subsystem that's involved, more, more disk capacity and more disk rate as well? Okay, it's uh, related to the uh, speed. Now that we, in this system that the, uh, we are supporting the uh, 30, 34 gigabytes disk units, one disk unit has a 34 gigabytes, okay? It's uh, the uh, low speed, uh, large capacity uh, disk drive. And now the, uh, we are supporting the uh, uh, high speed array disks. That's uh, the unit, uh, the basic unit uh, capacity uh, is the uh, uh, 20, uh, 20 gigabytes. And transfer rate is the, uh, uh, about uh, 50 megabytes per second. So it quite depends on the transfer speed or the capacity. It's got really speed is increased, but the capacity is maybe not so big. What is the I/O transfer rate that's supported? Uh -huh, uh, in the, uh, we have the uh, four up to the four I/O processors. So the each I/O processor has the uh, transfer rate of uh, 250 megabytes per second. So in total, the uh, one gigabytes, and also the. Uh, uh, extended memory uh, we have the independent pass. Uh, the, uh, it has the uh, two, about uh, three gigabytes per second. Also, the uh, we have the uh, heavy channels. Yeah. Uh, the uh, we have we can expand up to the uh, mm, eight pairs of the heavy channels, and each uh, channel has a hundred megabytes per second. On one of your last slides, you had an outline of what you think the future is going to bring, and yeah. you listed uh, parallel vector computers for the mid-90s in excess of 100 gigaflop plus <laughs> peak performance. And later on in the decade, at, towards the end of the 90s, you only list massively parallel systems mm -hmm. at about a teraflop. Uh -huh. This is quite in contrast to what a lot of American companies currently project. Mm -hmm. Even traditional supercomputer companies like Cray mm -hmm. started uh, massively parallel projects, yeah. and almost everybody predicts a teraflop by 95 okay. or 96. Uh -huh. Can you explain uh, the difference, in your opinion, from what okay. many of the American companies think? Uh, the, uh, the current uh, the, uh, massive parallel process uh, considered in the uh, uh, several uh, places is that the uh, assuming the uh, some uh, microprocessor based mass proof but the uh, still uh, the I'm thinking that the uh, it's uh, not enough the reason is that the uh, each processor the performance is not so fast so uh, to achieve the one teraflop, even uh, to achieve the one teraflop machine one processor performance must be the uh, fast enough so then uh, the sh figure the which I shown the uh, uh, massive processor, uh, the architecture is uh, maybe the uh, uh, different uh, from the uh, current massive uh, 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 parallel processor like uh, the uh, Intel's uh, Paragon or uh, the uh, connection machine or something like that. But the, uh, maybe the some uh, processor, single processor performance also they must be faster. Can you say uh, what number of processes you're thinking about for your mid-90s machine for the 100 gigaflop? 
and what you consider the massive parallel uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, machine? Uh, it's a several tens of uh, processors. Yeah. In the mid Yeah, in mid -dines. And the, the teraflop machine for massive machine. parallel? Uh, it quite depends on the uh, uh, single processor performance. But the, uh, uh, currently, the, I don't know the exact number, but the, I guess that the, even the uh, single processor, uh, the uh, uh, more than uh, one gigaflops. Okay. So the uh, if we can achieve the uh, one gigaflops machine in the single processor, teraflop machine will be the uh, one thousand. It quite depends on the uh, single processor performance. I heard that uh, NEC was going to be supporting the IBM RAID. Hippie attached RAID uh, disks on their on their new machine. Are those working? And uh, the, I think I've heard 50 megabytes per second. Are those numbers from a working system? Uh -huh. And is that to a uh, standard Unix file system, mm -hmm. or will uh, you be now using? Uh, okay. Uh, now uh, we are developing the uh, interface software to control the IBM uh, RAID disk. Yeah. Oh, so you're developing the yeah. IPI3 driver at this yes. point. Dr. Watanabe, I'm Mary Olson from DataQuest, and I have a question concerning the uh, multi-chip module or the multi-chip package substrate that you used in the SX3. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's a thin film yeah. uh, development. Yeah. Is that uh, a development that you see that could be incorporated in uh, lower level machines over time as the cost of development? improves since you've seen such an improvement in shortening of cycle yeah. uh, and improvement in the LSI uh, cycle time and overall machine imp uh, performance. Do you see that being incorporated into the lower level workstations or uh -huh. uh, supercomputers? Mm. Now the, uh, this uh, technology is uh, in NSC that the uh, employed in our uh, the supercomputer and the uh, only the mainframe, large mainframe. Uh, from the uh, cost viewpoints, uh, it's uh, very the high okay, to use uh, use the uh, such a workstation or a PCs. Okay. And but the uh, supercomputer or mainframe, it, uh, a key point is the uh, very, very uh, high uh, speed. Okay. So, uh, some we are sacrificing some such a cost. <laughs> Thank you.